Here you go. Here's my new toothpaste. You brush your teeth, cost 25 bucks, and you don't spit it out. I have 14 cavities, and I am so sad about it. And let me tell you why I have 14 cavities. I'm really upset about it. But let me tell you my story. <laughs> I think it might help somebody else. I'm 53 years old. When I went to my dentist, he told me, he said, you're supposed to keep by your teeth. He said, if you don't eat. But then he told me this, too. Um, you know, I went for my appointment. You know, I go to the dentist a lot. And uh, this is other than this a little bit because Clay was sick last year, if you remember. And financially, we just had to pull it all together. And we did. But uh, basically, I have a lot of things against me. <laughs> so pray for me. I have dry mouth, which makes cavities. I have really bad acid reflux, which with the dry mouth makes cavities. I have low blood sugar, which means I have to eat sugar and sugar and the dry mouth and everything. Well, X make uh, cavities come on faster. Taking medication, which is not good for my teeth, and I have to be on it. There's no way I cannot be on it. On it. And on top of that, genetics. My mother has a beautiful smile, but she had to have all her teeth pulled at 23. The doctor Dennis said, your teeth are just like butter. So I never had so much dental work in the negative. I mean, I used to always have to go to the dentist a lot, but the last few years it's been really rough. Clay's still working out here. You guys see our videos on the bucket system and things, but <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about the dentist because some of you may not know this. Now, that's the negative. Now, here's the good of that. You know, you sit there and you want to just about cry. You think, well, gee. It's like a serene, but oh. you can be able to do so much. Okay. I'm talking about the dentist. The dentist. The dentist. The dentist in my 14 cavities. He doesn't like to make toys. He's a dentist. <laughs> I know. Well, I want to talk to them about this because so many people will not, would never share about this. But I want to help people. Now, one of the best videos I saw, Thrifty Chicka, if you're not subscribed to her, you'll like her. She talked about an acidity mouth and a base mouth. Clay has, Clay could probably never brush his teeth and never get a cavity. But, I brush my teeth. No, he said you could probably never brush your teeth, oh, but no. he does. I've got, the he, doctor always said i got teeth like a gorilla. He's got a base mouth, and I have an acidity mouth. So, but I have acid reflux really bad, and... So it just like will rot your teeth out like crazy. So I have to go to the dentist all the time to stay ahead of the decay. So, you know, this is grossing out right now. Just trying to video. You're gonna to but if this is helping you, continue to watch. But because this is the good news. So here's what happens. If you have dry mouth, it, like I said, well, I got to go to the bathroom all the time. If I drink all that, she said, just put water in your mouth, swish it around, and spit it out. So that's one thing, because you know I'm getting older and I'm not exactly a skinny mini. I want to lose the weight, but let's be honest, I'm, this is where I'm at, okay? So that's one thing. She doesn't really, you know, I, I know the sugar is an issue for me sometimes, but um, you know what, honey? I want to start um, freezing ice cubes and using those ice cubes. But I think, well, no, I'm going to drink too, but I, I mean, I, my dry mouth bothers me so much. I didn't. You know, I've had it so long that you just kind of live with it, but sometimes it actually feels like bones are clicking. It's you know, not fun, but in case anyone else has had that feeling. But anyway, um, so, you know, you want to go, if you're experiencing stuff similar, just, you know, put it down and get all your dental work done, and then just keep up with it like you go to the hairdresser. And yes, it may be expensive, but what can you compare with your health? Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody can get their dental work done, but here's some other things. Okay, you get a bridge. Okay, this is bridge and implants. Implants are really expensive. My sister just got a bunch of implants, you know, and uh, so I got lots of sisters, so you can guess which one. <laughs> I'm not going to say, because she may not want to share that. But uh, this is the problem with implants and with uh, bridges. If you don't keep up on your dental work and you get a bridge and you have acid reflux and all those problems, your teeth around your bridge could not be good and then you have another issue. So it's better to get implants if you have to, but 
truthfully, the dentist wasn't that worried about it. I mean, I was like flipping and stuff to myself. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, plus I have anxiety just going to the dentist. But our plan of action, Clay and I are very aggressive about it. So I'm going to go next week, two days in a row, probably get six of those cavities or seven taken care of. And then I just have to go a little bit more and get the rest of them done. But we, you know, a lot of money from tax time and stuff to take care of all that stuff. It's sprinkling. But, okay, so if you're going through this stuff, just those are just some thoughts for you. You know, because your health you can't replace. A new boat, a new car, you know, I don't have a car right now, so that helps. Um, you know, but I blog and do stuff at home. But also, too, dry mouth, swish water around, suck on sugar-free candy. If you got sugar problems like me... You can try the sugar-free candy, but if you have some bad moment, just drink the juice, milk, whatever you got to do, and brush your teeth really good afterwards. They say you can use this toothpaste twice a day, so in between, if I need to, you don't want to be too aggressive because that causes other problems. I can brush you after I say if I have to eat something, try to completely stay away from the soda and all those things that are really just teeth rotters. Um, if, you know, if you don't have sugar, you don't have to worry about any of that other stuff having low blood sugar you know you shouldn't be having the sugar anyway you should just cut it out and eat sugar free um which i'm going to try but if i have an issue i have to do what i got to do at that moment so which is probably you know eat my five pieces of candy or you know drink a cup of milk or juice or something but uh so those are some of the things get the good toothpaste um which you know you can also there's also fluoride rinses out there too I know people don't like the fluoride, but sometimes your teeth need that. You need to talk to your dentist. Don't go by everything you see. Your dentist will know. And, uh, you know, there's fluoride rinses. And then before you go to bed, that's a major time to make sure your teeth are done. And, of course, you want to be flossing. I also have another issue. My teeth are so tight together that when I floss, I can't get the floss out, which is really a pain. But Stay just, away from the fluoride. Stay away from the fluoride? The dentist told me to use a fluoride rinse. Fluoride isn't good for your body. Yeah, probably in mass doses. Any doses. Okay, well, anyway, that's... They have it in your drinking water a lot of times, too. Okay, so... That's good for you. So what do I know about fluoride? I don't know, but I'm just... Okay, so anyway, those are the things... All right, I pulled a bunch of the weeds up. On My the... dentist told me to, to use a fluoride rinse. I'll tell you anything they want you to do. Well, my dentist is a good dentist, but I'm not going to debate with Clay because I listen to my husband. Cause I don't. I drink um, spring fresh water out of the tap. And that's where you get all your fluoride and chlorine. There you go, babies. But I hope this is helpful. So if your teeth, if I, okay, with my 14 cavities that I'm all upset about, here's the good news. It is fixable. And I think oh, I have I one of the. sit down for a minute before I, it starts pouring. I think I have one of the worst case scenarios. So I want to encourage you that if you're going through teeth problems and you're older, don't crucify yourself. I'm 53. And, you know, this is the first time I've had to encounter big, big problems. But uh, I just Maybe. feel. I figured deal with it and see where I'm at and that's, you know. I love them weeds. Oh yeah. So that's the story on the teeth. I hope this is helpful. But if you have dry mouth, swish your mouth with water, drink a lot. But it can be a contributor to oral care as far as your mouth, you know, having cavities. So you, want not, you just don't want to let that go. And also too, you want to make sure you're flossing and brushing. And if you have an aggressive form, like you're getting tons of cavities and no one else is is it could be your medication it could be acid reflux it could be genetics it could be contributed to dry mouth or something else so don't crucify yourself and feel like you know like me i'm always brushing my teeth and always doing stuff and i still have to deal with that so i don't know it's not like a gun so anyway yeah somebody's playing with guns out there and they're off close to the houses too which is illegal 500 feet from the house, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Is it hunting season coming up, or why is everyone shooting off guns? We've got one yesterday or one today. I think turkey season's over now. Oh, okay, so just... It could be car backfiring, too. Could've which, yeah, it could be anything. My tractor backfired. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Okay, guys. Like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day, and I hope this was helpful. A little candid, but... 
I just figured I'd let you know. Also pray for me because I have two of the dentist appointments that if you saw, which I'm going to be uploading it soon, my other video about the dentist and me, just pray that I'm not anxious or nervous. And because I really have a great dentist too and a great staff. So, okay, we'll see you in the next video. God bless. Boy, I'm loving that. We